Hi everyone, it's Lisa and welcome to a Proverbs Home. I am so glad that you are here today to see my bent and dent grocery haul. And I have some other sweet surprises I want to show you. I'm pretty excited. A lot of these um, items that I have, they sell them at Walmart, the regular grocery store. However, I got them for very inexpensive. So if you have a bent and, bent and dent where you live, Check it out because you might find some really good prepping items that you could use for your home. Some nice things that you can have for your home and for your family for very inexpensive. Why not, right? Why not go on ahead and just find those products that are inexpensive that you can actually use in your home. So I hope everybody is doing great. Go on ahead, get your coffee, your tea, your water, whatever it is that you want to have while you watch this Ben and Jen and let's get on with this video. Okay, so let me show you the first thing that I want to show you. It's not the first thing I got. You know, we always say this is the first thing I, I bought, but we really don't remember what was the first thing we picked up. But I got the Golden Crisp cereal. This is pre a pretty big box for $2.50. I thought that was a really good deal. Yes, you see that it's dented right there, but that's okay. I don't care. I take the cereal out and I put it in a container and I always do that and it's Good cereal. You know, now if it's if it's past expiration date and it's old, I won't buy it. But if it's like expiration dates in two months, I'll get it. Because I'll still eat it. And it's still good. So this is the Pulse Golden Crisp. And you know you can always seal the cereal in those Milo bags. You can seal the cereal and it'll last you a long time. So I picked up this box and it was $2.50. And the Golden Crisp is one of my favorite, favorite cereals. I really like that. Then I got the Flips Milk Chocolate Pretzels. These are absolutely so good. This is the family size and it's just really good. I can make like Chex Mix with these. That's why I like getting them. Put some Chex Mix, some Cheerios, some raisins. Just throw a nice Chex Mix together for a Friday night. And these are absolutely delicious. And this is the family size and I got it for $2.50. And I thought that was a great deal. Great deal. So I picked that up. I did find the Duke's Man Eggs. I've been wanting to get some Duke's Man Eggs. But every time I see it, it's almost 7 bucks. I got this. 64 ounce for $1.50. It expires in October, but that's okay. Of 2024. That's still okay. I will use it this summer. I will use it for potato salad and macaroni salad. And um, I'm excited. And this is um, family recipe since 1917. So I've heard a lot about this um, mayonnaise. I've always wanted to try it, but it's so pricey that I just like, nope, not buying it. But for $1.50, great prepping item to have inside my pantry and then open it, put it in the fridge and use it. So that's really good. So let me get on this side. Well, I'll show you this first here. I never do a haul for my cat. And this is from a little kitty. I did get him some fancy feasts. What I like about the fancy feasts, usually it'll cost me at Walmart 89 cents for one can. But I got them two for a dollar. So I picked up the fancy feasts. I couldn't believe they had this there. He loves fancy feasts, my cat. I have tried to feed him the Aldi brand of cat food. Now, he likes the Aldi snack food. But he doesn't like the Aldi cat food. And there's other cat food he will not eat. So I got a few jars of the fancy feast. This is the Seafood Feast and Gravy and the Tuna Feast and Gravy. He likes that. Then I picked up the Salmon Feast and Gravy. And I think there was one more. And this one is the Cod. Sorry, I don't have my glasses. The Cod and Shrimp Feast. I got him those. So I got him a few of those. And I thought that was a great deal. I'm like, wow, 50 cents a can, two for a dollar. That's great. And he loves that cat food. Then I got the Green Mountain Costa Rica coffee. I got this for my husband. And this was two for five. That is one of the places that I love to go, the Bent and Dent, to get the coffee. They always have tons of different coffees. So I always try to find coffee there for my husband. So I picked up this. And this is 10 ounces. 
I love picking up coffee for him because he loves coffee. He's a coffee drinker. So medium roast Costa Rica. That is just really great. Then my husband found these. We like ginger. And ginger is good for nausea. It is a great prepping item to have ginger in your home, in your bathroom cabinet, in your bedroom, you know, wherever, by your nightstand, have a little bit of ginger. It is really good for so many medicinal purposes and is good when you are nauseated. And this is the ginger, ginger every day. And it says chewy ginger candy. And it's in those little packets right there. I don't want to open it right now. And this was $2. And it's the company Gingins. That's the name of it. The company is The Ginger People. These are really good. These are expensive online. They're not cheap. So to get it there for $2 is a great deal. This is the Ginger Brie. And this is crystallized ginger. And that's what it looks like. Like that. And this also was $2. And you can put these, the ones that are like that, in your tea. These are good. So even if you don't get ginger on sale, you can look it up and see if, where they have ginger that's on sale. But you should get it. Because I'm telling you, if you're going through chemo or you're having some kind of medical issue, ask your doctor first. Because I'm not a doctor and I don't want you getting upset. Say, I took that ginger, girl. You told me to take that ginger and it made me sick. No, always ask your doctor. But this was a plus for me, and it worked really good. So I don't know how many of you like ginger, but I do. So I picked that up. Then I got the El Hibarito. That means hillbilly, by the way. El Hibarito Gandules. I got the chickpeas. Now, in our culture, in the Spanish-Puerto Rican culture, we love to make arroz con gandules. So I like the yellow rice, and we put this in the yellow rice, so we love it love it i miss my mom's cooking we love it so mom if you're watching i love you i found some gandules mom so gandules is really good and i got them for 75 cents which is a great deal because the goya brand has gone up this is el hibarito and like i said hibarito means hillbilly okay so that's a hibarito and i picked up two cans my husband loves when i make arroz con gandule with pork chops or steak he loves it if I could cook for all of you, I would. Because you would like it too. It's really good. So I picked up two cans of that. I picked up Bosco. Bosco. This was $1.50. And it's just like a chocolate syrup. I got this if my grandkids come over. When they come over, they can have some chocolate syrup, milk. And I like chocolate milk too once in a while. I like to have it. It's just a sweet snack. And this is from Bosco, and it's just really good. And this was only $1.50, so I picked up that. And that's, I don't know how many ounces. I don't have my glasses on, and it's very tiny, so maybe you could see it up on the camera. Maybe it's like 15 ounces or something. But that's just really good, so I picked up that. And then I picked this up. This is Aunt Sue's Raw Honey, Wildflower Honey. I wanted to use this. I love any kind of honey. I love this honey. This was the most expensive thing I got. It was $4.75, but usually the honey in our area is very, could go to $14.99. Very expensive. I like getting my honey at Aldi. But when I saw this on Sue's, I picked it up and this was $4.75. This is a big size honey and this is two pounds of honey for $4.75. So I picked that up. I love having honey in my tea. It's just something I love to do. Actually, right now, which you will be seeing a video, I have my dehydrator on and I'm dehydrating my lemons and some oranges. That's what I'm dehydrating. So that's that's what's happening now. I got up very early this morning and started doing like homemaking work in my home. And I decided I want to start dehydrating. So I have that going now. So I have this. And this is raw and it's absolutely delicious. I love it. To show you the Sleepy Time Celestial Seasonings Tea. This was $3.25. This is a big box. This is the Sleepy Time. I did pick up this big box because I love tea. That's simple. I love to have some tea. And I like all different kinds of tea. I like it more than I like coffee. 
and it's just nice to have a nice warm cup of tea at night when you're reading. It's just a really nice treat and I really like it. Tea is special and it's good when you're sick and you have a cold and I just really like that so I picked up this box and I'm going to use this box. I'm not going to throw the box away. I'm actually going to use it because the box is so pretty so I picked that up. And that's about the going price for that, for about $3.25, $4. And then I picked up the herbal tea. This is the Celestial Gingerbread Spice, everything nice, <laughs> $1.50. So I picked up that. You know you could save these boxes and use them to put gifts in them. You could take out the tea, put the tea in a jar, and use the boxes to put some cute gifts and give them a cute box. Just let them know it's not tea inside. But the box is so cute. It was only $1.50, so I picked up the gingerbread spice. And I picked up the candy cane lane. Because I love peppermint tea. So I picked that up. Look at the boxes, how beautiful. You could even cut these out and use them in your mixed media. Use them in your artwork. Just really pretty. So I picked those up. So I'm all set. I'm all set with the tea. All set with the tea. <laughs> just dropping it everywhere so I love tea okay then my husband picked this up the peanut shop wasabi powder snack mix so he picked these up he loves his wasabi I do too but he likes some more and this was only $2.50 and that's great for a whole can him that's his and then I got this for him and the reason I got it because it was on sale and it was just really cheap. Because this thing cost $14.99. I got it for five. I got that for my hubby. He loves these. I bought him one for Christmas the same size. And I paid $14.99 for it. I got him one and they all gone already. So I saw this there at the Ben and Dent. Bent and Dent and I'm like, I'm going to pick that up. So I picked that up for him. I got this Centivia Clorox Disinfected Cleaner. And this is for my bathrooms and my shower and the toilet and stuff. So I picked this up. And this was only $1.50 for this big bottle. I thought that was a really, really good price. And it smells like lavender. It smells really nice. This juice. This is Langer's Strawberry Peach. This is ju Juice Cocktail. And it has no high fructose corn syrup. So that's really good. And this was also $2.50. And I picked that up. To enjoy it with our family. Just pick up these really pretty butterflies. They had a section where everything was a dollar. I love it. This is a new part. They had the Ben and Dent. Smaller place. But in the back of the store. They opened up a huge Ben and Dent. And they actually have like little crafts and stuff for a dollar. And they have these cute butterflies. They were four for a dollar. But I just picked up two. And I, you could put them in cards. They're so pretty to make cards with. So I picked these up. If I'm making a special card or I want to decorate a box for the spring or something like that, I picked up these two pretty butterflies for a dollar. And then, no, they were four for a dollar, so those actually cost me 50 cents. Yeah. And then I picked up this. Look how cute this is for a whole dollar. One dollar, all these flowers. See it? I'm going to cut them off. They go like this. You can hang them. I might, I might hang some of these in my craft room in the spring. Yeah, that would be cute. Or inside of my greenhouse. These are nice. I thought they were going to be like individuals. But oh, look at this one. These are nice. I can cut them and use them for my journaling. For anything. But look how pretty that is. No, I think actually... These are going to be to decorate. Those are going to be to decorate probably. So I got a whole bunch of these for one dollar. This cute little doll. It was a dollar. So I'm going to take it out the box. You know me and my dolls. Got to take it out the box. Let's look at this. This is cute. It's just a little baby. Oh, look. That little pink. Oh, now that's adorable. Oh, that is adorable. Okay, now that's that's cute. The look at the feet. I've never seen anything like that. Oh, that's adorable. 
That's a, I gotta get her a little crib. That's so cute. That's very cute. Babies are precious. They are a gift from the Lord. This is just a doll, but babies, real babies are precious. They are a gift. Definitely a gift from God. It's a fabric art kids kit. kit. But I didn't get it for that. I got it because look at all the cute dolls on it. And I can use it for my mixed media. Okay. It comes with all these cute little cutesy things. And look at these pretty, really pretty. Um, I know this is a longer video today, but I want you to enjoy it. Look how pretty these are. They like they feel like puzzles kind of. They pop out. Look at these. These are beautiful. Definitely going to use these. Oh, that's cute. That's a llama. I'm definitely going to use these, like these and the dolls. I'm going to use them. That is beautiful. Nice peacock. Little flamingos. Oh, look at the line. I'm going to use these. These I could take to the nursery for the kids. But I will use the dolls like that. Those I will use. But like these with the animals, I'll take those to church. This is what I got. This is the, this is the next thing I wanted to show you. These boxes are full of snacks. They're full of pretzels and chocolates and different treats. But I wanted the boxes. The boxes are absolutely beautiful. This was two for five. They had another one, but I only picked up one to leave one for someone else that may want it. So I picked this up, and I love the boxes. And when we're done with the snacks inside, I am going to use the boxes for my greenhouse. That's what I'm going to use it for. Because I want my greenhouse this year. I'm not going to so much do like a theme. I am just going to make it very simple and very flowery and very pretty. That's what I would like to do. So this I found. These are two for five. They have popcorn inside, chocolate pretzels, and different things. And these were left over from Christmas. People didn't purchase them. There was a couple of them left over. And I figured, why not get them and use them? Afterwards, we'll just keep the boxes. But I don't want to take off the ribbon right now and use it. It's just really pretty. Two for five. And this is from Broadway Basket Tears. Broadway Basket Tears. Let me put it up close. That's it. That was my bent and dent. I'm definitely going to... What do you call that? I am definitely going to edit this video because it is very long. And um, I will edit it. But I hope everybody's doing great. I hope you enjoyed this Bent and Dent haul. God bless you. And I will talk to you in the next video. Bye.